Welcome to this two minute tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to quickly and easily navigate around your MindJet maps using a number of features within the software, as well as a few handy keyboard shortcuts. So let's get started. Here we can see a basic MindJet map outlining the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats for a fictional business. Once a map starts to reach this size, it's important that we're able to move quickly and easily around the map, but also focus in on particular topics and information if required. Zooming is a great place to start, so let's look at our options here. First off, we can see a zoom slide bar down here, which enables us to zoom in or out simply by moving the bar left or right. Alternatively, we can click on the plus or minus symbols to achieve the same thing. You can also use your keyboard to do this using the control key and the plus or minus keys to zoom in or out, as shown. Once you're zoomed into your map, you may want to move between different areas, which you can do using the sliders on the bottom and side of your map, as shown. Or alternatively, you can use the grab hand within MindJet to move the map around. By clicking and holding your mouse in open space on the map, then moving it around to reach the area you want to focus on. If at any point you want to quickly and easily zoom out to view your entire map, you can use this handy little button down here, which is called the Fit Map button and this will immediately zoom out to show your entire map on the screen as shown. Here's another handy keyboard shortcut. Instead of clicking the Fit Map button, you can simply hit the Control and F5 keys on your keyboard to achieve the same result. If we zoom right in again, and then hit Control F5, you'll see we achieve the same result as if we had clicked the Fit Map button. Finally, let's not forget that one of the easiest ways to manage the visible information on your map is to use the Open, Close options on the map topics. Simply by clicking the minus symbol, we can close a topic, or the plus symbol to open it back up again. If we close a few topics on our map as shown, and then click the Fit Map button, you'll see how quickly and easily we can manipulate the map to show the information we want. Here's one final keyboard shortcut for you. If you select a topic and hit Control plus D on your keyboard, it will open or close the topic as shown, just like hitting the plus or minus symbols. There you have it, a selection of quick tips to help you navigate around your maps easily and ensure you're able to focus in and work with specific information whenever you need to. That's it for this tutorial, but don't forget you can view more MindJet videos, templates and examples by visiting biggerplate.com.